Okay, so we have seen here the Fourier series. And remember, this is our spectrum analyzer for periodic signals. Now, it is much more important to understand the concepts than just to do this mathematics, meaning all periodic signals of interest for which we have a mathematical equation that is of relevant in some application, somebody already computed this integral. Okay, So it's much more important to understand the concept of a spectrum as the frequency content for signals, things like in periodic signals, you have a line spectra, the fact that all frequencies are harmonically related, that in non-periodic signals, like you have like say a square that never repeats, you will have a continuous spectrum and you need a different tool, than just to compute this integral. We are going over it just to establish the foundations, but our interest in the concept of practical digital signal processing eventually is going to be to go over the and understand, well, the fast Fourier transform, right? But to do that, we want to know the relationship between the continuous time Fourier series, the continuous time Fourier transform as the most general spectrum analysis for continuous time, the discrete time Fourier transform, the digital Fourier transform, and the fast Fourier transform. Also, although we develop this um, with functions there is an elegant way to put it all in a framework of vector spaces where you have an analogy, the same way when you decompose a vector, say a force in physics, into the different bases. This is similar to what you are doing this. You are decomposing a signal into the basis vectors, which in this case are complex exponentials. And this analysis formula, you can derive it from an inner product of functions, which is effectively a projection. In a later video, we will go over that. But at a high level, what we are trying to do here and what's important is, number one, understanding the idea of a spectrum as the frequency content of a signal. Number two, that for periodic signals, you're going to have a line spectrum with harmonically related frequencies and that you do have an ideal mathematical spectrum analyzer for which you put the mathematical equation in and you get the spectrum out. I'm less interested in being able to compute this integral, that's just mathematics, we will do some examples, than those concepts. And, and why is, is that not that important? Because every single signal for which there is a mathematical equation that is periodic, of any interest, of any shape, with any potential application, somebody has already computed it. It's good, though, to be able to follow the math or be able to do some of those yourself. Understanding that there are, in spectrum analysis, the problem of analysis from a signal finding in those complex amplitudes at a particular frequency, the spectrum, the set of amplitude, frequencies, and phases, and the problem of synthesis from those amplitude, frequencies, and phases, reconstruct the signal by putting it into this sum. It's also very important to understand that for many signals that are periodic, you do not need to use the Fourier series to compute the spectrum. Notably, if you have a sum of sinusoids, like we are going to see in the next problem, something like this, you do not need to do Fourier analysis. Even when you have products of sinusoids, also, you do not need to do the Fourier series. Just with Euler formula, decomposing it, and then multiplying through, you're able to find the spectrum of this. And so, sum of sinusoids, you're able to do it just by inspection. Product of sinusoids, it's an intermediate step to convert the product, the multiplication, into a sum. And also no need to do the Fourier series. 
And this is important, for instance, in amplitude modulation. So you can see what is the spectrum of an amplitude modulation signal. So these are the problems that we are going to be seeing in the next set of videos. Thank you.